All right, everyone, it's time for part four of the anti-propaganda series here, Deflecting Attack, the fourth method that's used by people within the legacy media, the old establishment, uh, in order to control people's minds. This is probably the most simplistic of methods. We even see it used at a grassroots level by people who really have nothing whatsoever to gain from it. Some of these people even know better. Now, sometimes people on an ideological fringe looking at the other side of the fringe, which has, of course, been artificially concocted, generally speaking, um, they do this, and, and the argument sticks a little bit more because they're seeing greater variance, greater differences uh, from their own ideology. Most often, though, it's deployed by people who ultimately they're just boring neocons or neoliberals. Um, they're just as close to the extreme right as the extreme left. They're not even like radical centrists or anything. They're just corrupt. They just want money. Uh, and they figure that this is a good way to keep people fighting one another because that's uh, very good. Uh, when people fight, it's good for the legacy media. They can clickbait things. It's good for the political establishment because it helps them win votes in a false dichotomous system. Uh, essentially how this works is if somebody will say, and usually, again, they have no actual ideological motivation behind this. Uh, they'll simply want to do this to sow discord. They say, look, the far right is so scary, so, you know, you should be on the left. Or, look, the far left is so scary, you should be on the right. Essentially concocting in people's minds a situation where one side or the other is more scary, even though both fringes taken to their violent extent are about equal to one another in their capability for bloodshed. Uh, despite the fact that there are the points of overlap between any potentially violent movement tend to be greater than the variance within uh, the right or left itself. Of course, you got people uh, who are essentially pacifists who would be fiscally, they're like far right, they're like to, they're the right of Ron Paul, and yet they're a pacifist. They're almost a hippie on that measure. Or somebody on the left, uh, you know, fiscally speaking, they may have some other variance of their character uh, that puts them aside more than between two uh, violent ideological extremes. Uh, essentially, the fear is created by the same bullshit artists. It's created by a bunch of corporations, and uh, certainly anything involving the old guard media would be involved with those corporate endeavors. The political establishment likes it. It helps feed their wedge issues. Why do you think identity politics has been used for many decades? Because it works. Why does it work? Because of fear. How is that fear sown? It's not grassroots in form. It's not because a bunch of people just innately have fear. This is, though, what they'll report on. They'll say, oh, these bigoted, uh, bigoted people that hate and fear all, all other cultures, these uh, social Marxists, they hate and fear anyone to the, uh, to the right of Bernie Sanders. And that's essentially the dialogue that's put out there. And then it becomes grassroots because then it becomes canonical because there are always morons that will trust the legacy media at its word. Now, I shouldn't use the term morons. Uh, I'll be more fair here. People who have been fooled. People who have been lied to for so long that that lie has become their standard reality. It's very hard to break through. Um, but this is the most simplistic form of attack against ideological and fiscal opponents. As applied to the current uh, state of things against the alt media by the multi-billion dollar corporate apparatus currently opposing us, uh, aided by some heads of certain tech firms, certainly aided by political figures <laughs> from around the world, not just here in the West. Of course, the Saudi Arabians uh, don't have a problem with it any more than Angela Merkel does. Uh, as applied to that situation, it's essentially the legacy media lying about alternative media online. What they'll do is they'll get like people who are more mainstream left riled up against the so-called extreme right, and they'll get people on the so-called like center right riled up against the, the extreme left of alt media. Now, it's a false system. The truth is it's just alt media. Yeah, it exists along the same political spectrum. In fact, a more wide political spectrum than mainstream discourse. That's because it's independent. It's people that are being honest generally about their beliefs. Uh, the fact that they have maybe some out there views does not mean that they're not independent in delivering them. The idea that an individual who has 100,000 YouTube subscribers, maybe like 30,000 Twitter followers, and makes a couple thousand a month is capable of leading some sort of bloody revolution, uh, and that pundits that make eight figures and consistently warmonger, that the latter is less scary than the former, even if they have so-called mainstream views, I think is totally wrong. Uh, they are the corrupt individuals. They make millions of dollars delivering a script written by corrupt people. That's the truth of the matter. 
The truth of the matter is it's the old guard versus the new kids on the block. That's what it all boils down to. They don't want you, though, to see it that way. They want you to see it as, oh, there are violent ideologues online. There are evil fringe individuals with whacked out, uh, totally out there beliefs. Some, uh, but then again, only if you take part three to heart and you also artificially limit what views you're talking about. Because if you talked about all of their views, like the uh, Rational Wiki article that was concocted about me, the original article that I myself had to personally heavily edit so that it was more in line with reality and it's still not quite all there. Originally, it didn't, it didn't talk about most of my political beliefs. It was an attempt to artificially limit what was spoken of to cast a narrative of me as extremist based on a handful of things out of many dozens of topics that I actually cover and not all of them were even accepted for inclusion. If Conservapedia decided they had a bone to pick with me, they would probably say I was, I was radically pro-gay. I spoke out in favor of transgendered rights. Oh, you know, that's, that's spooky. I don't care whether they go and pee in a certain bathroom. Uh, you know, doesn't have a problem with abortion, therefore baby killer. And they probably wouldn't talk about my belief on guns. They probably, if, they, if it was a person designing the article that didn't like me, they're probably not going to include that on a site like Conservapedia. They wouldn't talk about my fiscal beliefs, the desire for much more limited taxation, because it wouldn't fit the narrative. So you have to take the artificial limitation, uh, put it into play to make someone seem more extreme than they really are. And then you deflect attack. What you do is you cast them off as that extreme to the opposite side of the spectrum uh, in order to get them going after the alt media. And this is being done uh, as we speak, by the way. It's being done by the left and right. More commonly, though, it's not grassroots. It's being done by a bunch of millionaires, honestly. People with an axe to grind about independent commentary because they're terrified that the independent commentators will pull together across that ideological spectrum and say, yeah, we have all sorts of differences between what we believe in. Some of us virulently hate one another's political and social beliefs, but we're all independent content creators, and that's a little bit more important because as long as there's a freedom for us to say these things, we can have all of these debates for a thousand years. Everything's peaceful and fine. Nobody's socially alienated because nobody's being suppressed. Hallelujah, we've just solved one of mankind's major problems because the internet happens to exist. They're terrified of that, so we can't let them win. That's about all. Peace out.